Hey Libras, this is your monthly for January 2019. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. This is a general reading, so it will not resonate for everyone. If you guys are interested in a personal, the information is down below the video. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel. And um, let's get started, guys. I'm going to do a Celtic cross, laying the cards face down. That way we can explore them together, okay? Let's see. Here we go. Alright guys, let's see where you are. I feel like you're bored is what I'm feeling. I feel like you're, you're not really that interested, um, not focused on love. Okay. Um, feeling, you know, kind of complacent, I, I think, at this point. Um, it's just not that important to you right now is what I feel. Okay, let's see what the energy around you is. You got some worrying going on here. You're all in your head about something. And I almost get that you not focusing on love or, or not worrying about that in your life right now is exactly what you're worried about, you know. Um, it's like you're trying to take your focus off of love is what I'm feeling. Okay, let's see what your challenge is. Yeah, y your challenge is to be more loving, be more open to love, um, be more receptive is, is what I'm feeling. To open your eyes and kind of see, you know, the love that is being offered to you because there is love available is, is what I'm feeling. Like, even if it's just to go out on a date, if somebody makes an offer to you, just to be open to it is what I'm getting, okay? Let's see why you're here in the foundation. Yeah, I feel like um, there's a breakdown somewhere. There's a breakdown between um, something that you really you really felt good about before like you've had a breakup and I think and I, I'm not sure when this breakup happened but I feel like this is this is the root cause of why you're no longer accepting or willing to see you know what is possibly being offered to you from someone um, because you're still you know getting over this breakdown that occurred Okay. This breakup. But whatever happened definitely needed to happen with that tower being there. Because a tower only comes down when, when there is already a faulty foundation that something is built on. And um, whether it's like the way you thought things should go with, you know, or whether it's the way the other person thought things should go. Um, you know, a, a separation needed to happen and you guys needed to go to your own separate corners to kind of um, evaluate, you know, what's going on within you, you know, because we can only, we can only work on ourselves. So everybody just needs to go in their own separate corners and kind of evaluate things. Okay. Let's see what happened in the past, in the recent past. Yeah. Somebody, um, somebody did something that um, was, was not so good. And I think whether you or someone else um, did something that they felt like was one-upping the other person, because that's exactly what this card is, is one-upping the other person, okay? Um, this is also somebody that, because in this card, I don't know if you can see, there's one sword that this person is holding, which is a sword of truth. And then there's three swords right here in the arm. That is hurt. That is hurt. And then there's one sword that you can't really see that's like right here. Okay? And that I feel like is somebody kind of hiding the truth. They're hiding really and truly 
um, how they really feel because they've been hurt. They're holding those three swords there. So that when they react and they speak the truth, whether it's hurtful or not, they're reacting out of a place of hurt. I feel it does not mean that it's it's right or it's good but usually when people do things like this say things to hurt other people to make themselves feel better that means they have an insecurity there, there's there's some underlying hurt there okay let's see what the best possible outcome is best possible outcome here is that um, you just continue to build on on yourself, on your family, make sure that um, anything that you allow in your life, um, you allow things that have a humbleness attached to it. Um, and that's for you and for the, you know, any other individuals as well, that there, there needs to be a feel like a level of humbleness to really solidify any relationship here. Okay. And and this is this is um this is something that I feel like you can have. I feel like you want stability in your home more so than um like financial stability more so than like love. I feel like as long as somebody can come um and be like a a provider and and do things consistently, I think that's more so of, you know, what you're looking for. Let's see in the near future. I think you'll make some changes. I think there are changes that are um, occurring currently, especially with the Eight of Swords being there. I feel like you will eventually, you know, open up to um, to love, accepting accepting love from someone who you feel like um, you deserve in your life, and they deserve to have you in their life. And I feel like. You know, with this card coming up, could be a Scorpio that you are, um, that is significant in your reading here. Scorpio, um, Aquarius, Gemini energy, Virgo energy present here too. Does not have to be those signs, but that's just the energy I see present thus far. But um, there is a change coming. There's a shift coming. And you, I feel like you are initiating this shift in your life okay let's see what the outside influence is there is possibly an earth sign coming in um taurus virgo capricorn that is um that is uh i feel like they they want to approach you um they're not coming in fast this is a very stable night if it, you know if i was going to have a night it would be the knight of pentacles because um they are the most grounded. They do make offers, but they make a solid, legitimate offer when they do arrive, okay? And your hopes and fears. Yeah, you want somebody that will give you what you give them, basically. That's the bottom line. You, Because you are very giving. You are very loving. Um, and you don't expect things from people that, you know, you're not willing to offer. So you want the same in, um, in a mate here, okay? And the overall outcome is well, you will leave behind things with the Seven of Swords. I can't even pick it up, guys. Wow. Okay. So you will leave behind things that um, that you feel like are not serving you. Um, but you will not do it from an emotional standpoint. You will do it from um, a very thought out um, frame of mind here. I feel like from here on out, you really just want to do things in a very logical, thought out way. Because I, I just get the feeling that when you use your heart, when you use your emotions to try to make your decisions, that it hasn't panned out this far. So um, you're trying to change things up here. And I see that happening here with death in the near future. Okay, my Libras. So that is what I have for you guys for January 2019. And I'll speak with you soon. Okay, so bye.